Do what you want, cause a pirate is free. You are a pirate. Yeah. Ahoy, and welcome back. This is Fween the Skull Pirate, and today, instead of working on my survival base, uh, I was watching Iskal85 on Twitch the other day, and I came up with an idea. When he was working on some of the villager trading area in the Sahara shops, I came in and decided to test a theory I had. Because normally, you'll see villager shops like the one you see behind me here that have their trading station out front. So whatever trade they are is out front. Or in some cases, people don't like seeing them, so they put them behind the villager or off to the side or whatever. And this is because they have to have contact with them in order to restock. However... I had a thought. Is it possible to get it out of sight? Out of sight, out of mind. And this is what I came up with. After extensive testing of trying to put it right here in these blocks and putting one on top of it like that and trying to do a number of other different things, putting half slabs in, doing all kind of different fun stuff uh, and failing every single time, I came up with this. This right here actually works. So instead of having the table in front, you can put it below. Now this does work. I have tested it both ways with it directly below and with a trap door in the way. So if we do this and then we do this, look how much nicer that looks. Now let's get some villagers in here real quick. All right, so now we got some villagers in here, and you can see that here's the difference between having just the stone cutter and then having the stone cutter with the trap door over it. Is it's just how high they stand up on here. So if you don't want them to be standing up higher, you can just throw the table down in there. Some of them, like the composter, will have them at normal height just because of how much taller it is. But because the stone cutter is essentially a half slab, it shrinks them down a little bit. But if we come in here and we'll shoot, we'll show you this with the trap door side, just because uh, that side you're gonna want to see that this works just as well as it does on this side. So we'll start over here, and we want to lock out one of his trades. There we go. We have locked out one of his trades. There we go, we'll just lock out two of them. Now you can see I've got this set up. So the sun is rising now. So he's going to level up. And we're going to let the sun come up for a second. And once it's time for him to restock, we will go ahead and check him again. All right. It's the time of day for him to restock. So we're going to go ahead and check. And he is restocked. So you can see that you can have it look much more aesthetic you can have a lot of different options with how you want to set them up in here now that you have their table down below them and that works even if you put a trap door over top of it or at least in this case I'm doing iron trap doors just because I like how they look a lot more than throwing wooden trap doors all over the place uh, if you prefer wooden trap doors you can put those in uh, you're not going to see the one they're standing on, obviously, but uh, that depends on if you're using glass around them or not, because you can put them in a glass case. So if you'd rather have everything visible and put glass around them, go for it. Uh, if you would rather do something like having all different colored concretes or terracotta or whatever you want to do and have that denote which type of trader it is, uh, or you can do what I've done in here. And I've actually built this up, and I have them set up in a nice little shopping center, and I have everything not only color-coded, but I've got all of different types of shops. So you can set them up 
you can stack these, you can have one whole row be just one type of trader. Uh, you can do different things with this, you can have a lot of fun with it. Or, the way I've got it set up, I could actually come in here and put a placard up that goes right in the center that tells me what they're selling. So, if I want to say this guy is a mason, I can come over here and put a sign up that says masons. And you can have everything set up all nice and neat, all aesthetic looking, all fun and immersive, and not actually have tables laying all over the place showing all the different professions. And I just like this for a cleaner look. And I think it looks really good like this. Uh, yeah, it's a little jarring having all these different colors so close together and everything. You could make a bigger shopping center than this. Uh, but this was just a sample. And if you're wondering how I've got all of the trapdoors on the center set up to separate them, I have done this. I've just put levers back behind them. So, back of the block, lever, trapdoor. And then, as you saw out here when I showed you at the very beginning, I've got the tables with the trapdoors down beneath the traders. So, once you get yourself a villager breeder set up, you could breed villagers, drop them into these little shop sections here, and then you can set it up so you can come in and shop to your heart's content and get whatever you need from each and every one of these guys. Alright, and just for the people who are wondering how I did these builds, uh, this is just a quick run through of me throwing all this stuff together, throwing the blocks in, and I'm going to be just quickly showing you this. Uh, I went ahead and sped it up a little bit. I'm going to be making this with farmers. I went ahead and just tossed in those, got the composters in, got the trap doors down, and then went ahead and set everything up for the separation of the villagers and getting the blocks in to keep them in place is going to be done right here and then we're going to go ahead and put the lighting in so that they don't spawn anything anywhere near them put that down and we go ahead and spawn the villagers in easy so after looking into the new way of doing the villagers as opposed to this method where you've got their lecterns or whatever in front of them uh, I have tried it in survival and it works just as well coming in here and doing a trade with them if you lock out their trade it will actually refresh the stock on them and everything so at this point it looks like this works really well in 1.14 on the Java edition. Uh, now I did try it on the Windows 10 edition and unfortunately the way that uh, villagers and everything work in that is a little bit different so it's not gonna work this way in there but it does work just fine on 1.14 to set up your villagers like this where you've actually got, uh, you can see I uh, actually changed that around on all of these where I've got the lectern down there now instead of out front and that is how I'm doing it now on here because it works and it's a, so much cleaner having them in these little workspaces that are like this instead of like this know, it's just more aesthetic to me I did do some more stuff with my base uh, since the last time we were on here, but I will save that for another video. I haven't really got anything to show you um, on here right now because I want to put all of that together. I've got all the villager stuff in this video. I will put all of the other base updates and everything into a separate video. So we'll do that one later, and for right now, that is going to be all. So I hope you enjoyed. Get out there and start making yourself some villager shops and enjoy. And until the next time, this is Fween the Skull Pirate and I am going to sit here and play with my cats. Where's you, Klaus? Come here. Oh wait, you're not Klaus. You're their baby. Where's Klaus? Klaus!
Where'd that damn cat go?